Hello and welcome everyone. This is Mr. Sovar with another Minecraft computer craft tutorial. And this time, let me turn down that music. But this time we're actually doing some interesting things. We're going to be introducing a little bit of the HTTP protocols. We're only going to look over the HTTP.get command. And we're also going to explore the differences between advanced computers and normal computers in Minecraft. Now, I'm guessing I'm not really going to use the screen at all, just showing you that there's an advanced screen and a normal screen also, which I don't have out here. Um, so, the only differences I've actually found with the advanced computer and normal computer is that when you actually start editing something, it'll be like normal, and you can tab and then sleep 0.1, stuff like that. But, if you go into here, which I already have a program set up, uh, you can see that some of the things change colors. And if I were to do that while, it changed into yellow, which is kind of interesting. So that is mainly the difference that I saw within uh, the Vance and normal computers. But um, right now, uh, this code right here basically gets you the HTML code of Google, which is pretty cool. Um, Mm, excuse me. Uh, basically, what happens is there are two different types of networks that the computer craft can connect to. Technically, three, but let's just take away the uh, local version, which is whatever's on the computer. The two is the actual internet using HTTP commands, like the real world internet. And then there's the red net. The red net is the Minecraft version of the internet, which is usually like a LAN type of thing with wireless or actually wired modems, I believe. I don't know if the I don't know if Tech at Light has wired modems. No, I don't think so. Okay. So we are going to look into this code. If you don't know what rednet.open is, I'd prefer you to look at my beginner computer craft uh, videos tutorials. It's a uh, kind of far down in the videos, but um, it really explains how the rednet and everything works. But I know this is a little funky with the indents, but we have rednet.open top, which basically enables the wireless modem that is placed on top of the computer. Uh, that We're not going to use rednet, but I figure it's good practice to do that. The sleep, uh, parentheses 0.1, is a delay. It's also used as a way of uh, refreshing the program, especially when it's a loop. Think of it as a sync or something like that. Uh, if you're a programmer, especially for video games, you kind of understand that. It keeps everything up and running. If you don't have to sleep within a loop, your computer or your uh, Minecraft computer will probably go through the thing seven times and saying something weird like it's not refreshed or something. It'll have a big error. So make sure to have that delay within the loops. The reason why this program is not in a loop because I don't want you just to constantly see bunch of characters flying on the screen and stuff like that but uh anyways we also have the http.get which is a command that gets the uh, actual data from the uh, website or file or image or whatever is on the internet as long as you supply the actual address right here so for now it will actually give me the html code of this search engine web page for google and it will put it into a variable which we call the handle. The handle holds everything of the actual data from the HTTP command. This handle will then be converted into a major string which we will print out onto the, str uh, onto the screen. Uh, the h.readall, make sure the a is capital and you have a dot between the h and the readall. And also have parentheses, or uh, two parentheses like this after the readall to actually display all the data within the H in a string. So you'll be seeing a lot of HTML, JavaScript, PHP, stuff like that, all into this print out command. And then for good housekeeping, we close the handle by doing an H.close. So this is getting information from a web server, a real life web server, you can put information onto the server. I believe there's http.put. There's also, I think, like a post data one. I'm not really for sure about that one. I'm only looking at the get http command, but we're going to show you, or I'm going to show you, how this works. So I'll exit out here, 
And I believe I did a video right before this one. It didn't show anything. It should show stuff. There we go. So this is the HTML code of Google through the ComputerCraft computer. Now, what is very interesting of a uh, application that I've actually done um, is to control the ComputerCraft computers in Minecraft. I know that's kind of all jarring to think about and stuff, but um, basically I made a Java external program that uh, changed files within an HTTP server and the computer in the in Minecraft looked up the files within the uh, HTTP server so therefore I could literally be clicking buttons on a separate computer somewhere far away <laughs> even if I wanted to that connected onto the internet using an HTTP server could actually alter stuff on a Minecraft game like this one right here and it's really cool because I can then make artificial intelligence programs and stuff like that control stuff while I'm not in the game which is another cool thing especially for servers now this concept I'll probably go over a little bit more when uh I actually why can't I okay what when I actually um go over the HTTP commands a little bit more but I'm going to show you the actual command and how I do it uh, probably in the next couple videos I think or in the next video I'm not really for sure but um, I hope you really like this. Uh, it was really short, very small tutorial, but uh, it kind of explains a lot. Um, so make sure to like the video, share on Facebook, Google, Twitter, whatever. Um, and also make sure to subscribe. It would really, really help me out if you could. And uh, I'm glad to be back, but I'm not totally back because I still have to do some tests in school, so I'll still be busy. Gonna do some fun animation stuff with my friends this summer. I'm not gonna really talk too much about it. If you want to hear a little bit more, there's another uh, video I posted about it. So, see you later, guys, and hopefully this helped you out. Bye.